yeah, and let's start with Six Nations call-ups. Um, Louis Rees Samit this morning included in the Wales squad. Um, you must be delighted for him. Yeah, no, very delighted. You know, obviously it's going to be challenging for us going forward with the preparation, but you know that's why I tell them the players always. You know, opportunities come in life, and you have to grab it. And you know, obviously. Um, Lewis has grabbed that opportunity well and, and I'm glad for all the other guys, you know, uh, uh, Jake and Cal and also Chris and especially for Alex Craig as well and then for Owen after a long time just to get a, a, a bit of a, a call up now and, and now he can, uh, you know, work his way back in. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned Owen there, I suppose you know, he's got back in very quickly. Is he, is he ready? I mean, he performed you know, well enough for Gloucester last weekend when he came on for Danny. Yeah, I do believe. Um, you know, the one thing about Owen is got his work ethic. He's he's extremely professional. He works extremely hard to always be in the best possible condition. Even when through his injury, he always looked at, at himself. That's why he's he came back and played at the level he played. So he will just get better and better as the weeks go past. And there's obviously still this week and next week to prepare before the first. Six Nation games, so hopefully by the time they hit that and he do get an opportunity, he'll be in, in good form. And you mentioned the, the two in the Italian squad, uh, Callum Braley and Jake Pelletri, I suppose after the World Cup, no surprises for them? Yeah, they played well, you know. Um, I felt Cal played really good in the World Cup when he got his opportunity and, and obviously we know that Jake came back from the World Cup, I think beating the most defenders and had a, a really good uh, tournament and although he hasn't played a lot for us, through injury and, and through stuff, he, he showed some of his qualities uh, against Bath. Louis Rees Summit, as well as having internationals now to think about, um, contract sorted out here at, at Gloucester. How pleasing is that for the club to be able to keep you know, their, I suppose, prized future assets? Yeah, it's important. You know, it's important. Um, you know, credit to the, our academy. I think the Gloucester academy has get a lot of credit to to obviously um, develop Zam and get him to come and play for Gloucester and and then now, like I said, in the pre-season Zam uh, grabbed the opportunity when we gave it to him and everything obviously after that happened quite quickly but uh, like I said in, in my statement earlier, uh, if he keeps humble and he keeps working hard and use this opportunity, I, I even think, you know, looking forward now for him, you know, what happened with him in the last few weeks is already a successful season in my view for him. Now he must just you know, embrace this and enjoy whatever comes his way. If it comes, if, if a test call up comes, then embrace that and believe. Uh, I believe he, he, he can play there. But again, if it doesn't, he mustn't see it as a disappointment. His growth has been tremendous, and uh, and everything now is a bonus where he will learn and grow. And I think that's great from you know um, the Welsh coaching staffs to to include him, uh, Wayne Pubic, and and to see that. Um, you know, measure him, uh, learn him, uh, uh, that environment and experience, obviously as, a, as well as got their own identity, how they want to play, etc. and him to get that exposure. And the way that he's kept getting better, does that show that he is someone who's capable of staying grounded, staying focused and just looking to develop? Definitely, you know, that's going to be his challenge in the next couple of seasons because people are going to get more, study you more, learn about more and you must keep evolving, you know. We look at Johnny May, how consistent he's been at club and at the international level and all the good wingers. Um, even a guy like Cheslin Colby, you know, didn't make excuses for his size. He he worked on things that makes him, uh, uh, you know, special. So I think that's uh, the challenge for them to keep being special, to keep learning and growing. And he showed that qualities and uh, yeah, we, we're proud of him as we're proud of all the other guys um, who got um, call-ups, but also keep in mind um, a lot of times there's players at the club that um, assist in that journey, you know, um, when you're successful and that's why it's a team uh, sport.